Hi, I'm John Kohler. Welcome to Tech Topics. In this video, we're going to be talking about network cables, network adapters, and how those relate to how Nutanix nodes connect to an enterprise data center network. I've drawn a diagram over here that shows the basic connectivity choices for connecting a Nutanix node to the enterprise network. Let's start off with how Nutanix connects to the access and leaf layers, which we've discussed in previous videos. Each Nutanix node has at least two 10 gig ports. Those 10 gig ports are almost always SFP plus compliant ports. However, we've got configurations that are available uh, using 10 G base T. Most nodes have two ports. Some nodes can have four ports or even more depending on your own requirements. There are a variety of choices to connect the 10 gig ports to the access and leaf layer. The most common choice is twin X or direct attached copper. This is a copper cable that has SFP compliant ports attached to the ends and typically goes anywhere from one meter to 10 meters. If you had need to have a run longer than 10 meters or your enterprise network cable of choice is fiber, you can use multi-mode fiber and short range SFPs to connect Nutanix to the network. Alternatively, if you use 10G base T ports, you'll need to use CAT6A or better to connect to the access layer. Each Nutanix node also has an out-of-band hardware management port. This port is used for things like remote KVM console and power control, and is typically connected to a separate management switch. Depending on your network and security policies and your available network hardware, you can also connect this switch directly to the access and leaf layers. From a logical connectivity standpoint, the controller virtual machines on a Nutanix node need to be able to talk to the IPMI interface. If your network and security standards do not allow this management network to talk to the production management network, you may not be able to provide that connectivity. If that happens, you may see some alarms or alerts in PRISM, which can be safely disabled without impacting the functionality of the system. The out-of-band hardware management port is connected to the management network over a copper, CAT5E, or better cable. On most newer models, this is a one gig port. On some older models, it's still 100 meg. I hope this is helpful in understanding the various choices of connecting a Nutanix node to the enterprise network. Stay tuned for more videos, and thank you for watching.